Stampers and Crafters. I'm Tammy from StampWithTammy.com and today we're going to be working with some super cool techniques with designer paper coloring and some glitter heat embossing called iridescent ice. It's really, really stinking cool. We'll be using the Stampin' Up! Timeless Elegance paper. I posted a swap card I got from this paper on my Facebook page and so many people wanted to see this technique. I thought well, we have to do a video and I stepped it up even more by adding some iridescent ice glitter. You are just going to love this. Let's get started. I don't know if the beauty of this card can be conveyed through video. It is such a wow in person and it's so easy to do. You're not going to believe how easy this is. So we're using some of Stampin' Up's Timeless Elegance. This is actually double-sided um, designer paper, which is like scrapbooking paper. There are, there's two of each design in a 12 by 12 pack. I used this design on the original. I'm gonna use this design on the one that we create today. So they'll be slightly different and both gorgeous. You can order this designer paper and get all of the measurements and all of the details on this card on my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below or if you're on YouTube just click right on this video and it'll give you all the details and a downloadable PDF. Okay I've just got a little scrap paper here that I'm going to be using. I've got Pear Pizzazz and Watermelon Wonder ink pads and I'll be using sponge daubers. You're going to stick your finger in it. I've got mine in my left index finger because I'm a lefty. Just dab it in the ink pad and then just rub it. I'm going in a circular motion starting with the center of the flower because that's where I want it to be the darkest. And then just fanning out from there. On some of the bigger flowers I wanted them to be really bold but some of these other flowers, I wanted them to be more light. Each little panel is going to have a slightly different design on it, so they're all going to come out a little different. But every single one of them is gorgeous. Now I'm taking some pear pizzazz and just rubbing a little on the leaves. And it's okay to go outside the lines on this. And we could end it here and it would be simply amazing, but we're going to keep going. I'm going to take the scrap paper I was using to protect the workspace and just fold it in half to catch excess embossing powder. I am using the Stampin' Up! Versamark ink pad. I'm actually going direct to paper right over the top of this. Getting the whole thing good and sticky. So I'm taking some iridescent ice embossing powder. It's like a glitter embossing powder. I'm pouring it over the whole thing. Dumping the excess into this scrap paper. Flicking off any loose pieces. Look at even the back of this designer paper is gorgeous. This timeless elegance is so pretty. Okay, this right now is not set yet. So I'm gonna take our heat tool to heat set this. Embossing is just so cool. This is going to be a little bit harder to see. Let's see if I can get the lighting just right here. Oh, it's so cool. Can you see that? And when it's done, it is just awesome. It's a real wow. I am using snail adhesive to attach this to our card base. And because it's a black card base, I always recommend using Whisper White, or in this case, I'd use very vanilla on, to layer on the inside to write or stamp your greeting on the inside. Now, because each one of these designs is a little bit different, I'm gonna go the opposite way with the banner tag on this one. My thank you comes from the Stampin' Up! One Big Meaning stamp set. Lots of thank yous on this one. It's a great one. I'm actually gonna make our banner first and then I'm gonna stamp the words. So I've got the square punch here. I'm just gonna slide this in and we're actually just gonna punch a tail on there. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the pear pizzazz. And there's a little bit of an overhang there. And I'm just going to trim off excess there that I had. And now we're ready to stamp our thank you. This is the basic black ink pad. I'm going to put it in the middle. That attaches to the banner tag with some snail adhesive. And then I'll be attaching it to our card with some Stampin' Dimensionals. They're both gorge. Love it, love it, love it. And you saw how quick and easy this was to make a wow card. 
awesome. Be sure to visit my stampwithtammy.com blog for the PDF tutorial, hundreds more video tutorials, and if you can't get enough, make sure you sign up for my newsletter. I have free card tutorials exclusive to my newsletter every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today.